<sighs> it took me about 38 minutes to decide what tie to wear with this shirt in. I'm still not satisfied with my decision. Indecisiveness is kind of like being intoxicated. As a matter of fact, intoxication is just impaired decision making. But do we really make decisions or are decisions something that happened to us? What is a decision? We say A as if it's some kind of thing, like it's some kind of object, a decision. It's sort of like trying to describe a moment in time. What exactly is a moment? When we think of decision, we think of these big grandiose moments, but those are just big decisions. Decisions are something that are always happening to us. We can never really turn them off. It took me a long time to decide to stand in front of this camera. You can probably tell I'm not very comfortable in front of this device, but at the same time, I felt like this was inevitable. Even now, I don't think that I'm deciding to say any of this. It's more like the right words are finding me and just they're coming out. It's very strange, but what a decision ultimately has to be is hyper-specific information. It has something to do with identification, identity. I've had this lifelong obsession with the philosophy of mind, theology, trying to figure out how does all of this work? What exactly is reality? You know, what is the meaning of all of this? And when it comes to mind, you know, if you've ever experienced any kind of altered state of consciousness, the first thing that goes is your ability to remember and your ability to make decisions. There's something that you can feel. Every decision becomes incredibly rich. You can sort of see these different futures cascading or sort of echoing into the future. You can see your decisions now and how they echo into the future up to a certain point. You can see all of the varying factors that are sort of bouncing off of each other, all of these variables. And you can follow this rabbit up to a certain point and it sort of disappears. It becomes too chaotic. You can't see any, any, any more forward into the future than that. And I'm not sure exactly what's happening to me. Maybe it's because I'm getting older. Maybe I smoke something I shouldn't have, but I can feel just how rich every decision is. And it makes it incredibly difficult to actually make decisions. I imagine this is what ADHD has to be like. You can sort of see how dense the information is at all times. There are all of these variables bouncing off of each other that are sort of fractally resonating with each other. Whenever you try to take a decision apart, to try and pry it open to see what's inside of it, you ultimately find amnesia. You know, speaking of altered states of consciousness, this is why that's the first thing that becomes impaired, your decision making. You lose the ability to remember. You are sort of struck in the head with amnesia. Your ability to create the architecture of your own reality is compromised. And the reason why we all have this sort of cosmic amnesia, you know, we don't know where we come from or where we're going, where all of this is heading, supposedly towards the future, but no one can tell you what the future is. I believe it's because we are inside of a decision. All the way from the supposed Big Bang or this quantum vacuum fluctuation that set everything off, all the way up into the inevitable heat death of the universe. It's all one moment. It's all one thing that has been elongated and stretched out so that it can be sort of inspected. I say that this information is being processed. We are all ultimately in some kind of field of possibility, this possibility field. And what we consider to be decisions are actualized potential. That is some kind of way this field is collapsing. If you want to say it is the collapsing of the wave function or what have you. Our individual lives are this as well. 
You could say that your life is a series of your decisions. It is the architecture of your identity. And losing the ability to decide is somehow akin to forgetting who you are, losing your identity. This is why ego death is a heavy theme within altered states of consciousness. You know, this all ties into death in general. And if you've been following this channel for a while, you've probably heard all of this and many more crazy borderline schizophrenic ideas. But from the time I started this channel, which was around 2023, I believe these past few years, I've been sort of spiraling into something and something has happened to me that has radically transformed the way that I view reality. It's difficult for me to go back to the way that I was. And I'll admit it's difficult to go, difficult for me to go back to who I was a year ago, you know, even trying to get back into this wacky mind state that I was in is somehow difficult for me. I don't know any other way I can put it. It's almost as if there was some kind of demarcation point or a metamorphosis that has taken place, sort of how, you know, the angel guarded the garden of Eden so that Adam and Eve couldn't return. That's sort of how I feel with this mind state that I was in even just a couple months ago. There was some kind of secret as egotistical as it sounds. There was some kind of realization that I grabbed hold of and it's changed me. But pretty much where I am with this channel, if you've run of my followers, this is the first time I'm showing my face on the YouTube airwaves. And I think where I'm at with this channel is just processing what's happened to me and what I'm supposed to do with this information. I feel like over the past few years, I've sort of found something out. I don't know if I was supposed to or not, but I'm just trying to process Ultimately, what was this whole thing about? Why was I sort of pulled into this or called into this? You know, what should be done? What am I supposed to be doing with this information? All of the conversations that I have with everyone around me are different now. I have a different perspective and I can't help but feel as though I'm supposed to be focusing on decisions. Decisions are somehow the key. This idea of missing information, cryptography, secrets, that which is hidden. There is some kind of hidden factor that is untangling itself. And perhaps I've wandered so far into mind or my own mind that I've sort of turned inside out or perhaps fried a circuit or two. I have no idea. I always say that Consciousness is ultimately turning inside out. But what I want to do with this channel, as I sit on this side of the camera is try and understand what decisions are and why we have been given them. We have this long going debate about, you know, free will and destiny. And I think that they are two sides of the same coin. We have somehow been given the ability to make decisions and somehow by making these decisions, we are discovering who we are. We are constructing the architecture of our identity. And I don't really know what all of this is going to look like. I guess you'll witness me finding my voice. That's what they say, you know, in entertainment or whatever leadership position that you have to find your voice. And that's what I'm doing with this channel. I'm finding out what I'm supposed to be doing with this platform that I have, this mind that I have, this talent or perspective. I'm not quite sure, but I can't help but feel that I'm supposed to be doing something with this. I'm blabbering. So I'm going to end the video here. If you're one of my longtime subscribers, you know, thank you for rocking with me up to this point. If you're new and you're like, who the heck is this guy? Welcome aboard. I have all kinds of videos or you can probably see, you can follow me from the beginning all the way up to now and see how I sort of develop this crazy, uh, these crazy ideas. And if you are interested in more of my private content where I'm able to speak more freely and sort of have all of my ideas organized into a more 
I guess, fun experience. You know, it's sort of gamified. I have a, a website that it's, that's called paramind.org. It is a small group of us that decided we wanted to sort of create something special for everyone to have this information without it being so, you know, all over the internet. You don't have to go searching here and there. It's fun. It's, it's ordered. It's sequential, you know, so consider checking out paramind.org. And until next time, y'all have a blessed day.